Here come clown feet. Look, here come the clown feet. Tamila Wright is a soon-to-be-married mom of three living in Quincy, Florida. In the bucket. When we visited with her, her two older children, five-year-old son Travis and four-year-old daughter Emilion, were in school. Her youngest son, 15-month-old ball of energy Kion, is at home playing with mom. While parenting seems like second nature to her now, Tamila was like many first-time mothers back in 2008. She was happy and excited, but also a little overwhelmed with all she was facing. Because I was a first-time mom, and... I was kind of scared about a lot of things. Florida State University played a key role in helping Wright develop her parenting skills. In 1996, led by director of Florida State's Center for Prevention and Early Intervention Program, Mimi Graham, FSU developed the Partners for a Healthy Baby curriculum to support teen mothers and lower income families seeking guidance. It is exactly like a blueprint. You start in one area, you have a, a topic or an age or a developmental stage. From there, you can figure out what topic you want to discuss or what's going on in the family. Christine Smith has been a home visitor in Gadsden County for 10 years. She works for the Florida State University Early Head Start program and says she uses the series of five books and numerous handouts on a daily basis to assist with her family visits. It's helpful because it's broken down into different developmental stages, monthly stages, not only for a child, but for a pregnant mom. And one can go to each of the developmental monthly stages and get topics and information and handouts that will be appropriate for that developmental month. For Tamela, the curriculum and the subsequent instruction and help she's received has been an unbelievable asset. You know, always great handouts given to me to guide me through, um, you know, showing me the way of differences and everything that could happen and, you know, let me know what's big and what's not to worry about. So there's always um, an issue that they would, you know, answer questions if there was a problem, if I had any concerns. They were always on top of everything. Now with her third child, little Kion, Wright has the program pretty well down pat. But before her first son, Travis, was born, she didn't have a plan. That's until she got into this program. You can't just pick up the phone and call your daughter every time there's an issue because sometimes they're not available. So those handouts was like um, what to expect your first year. And they had everything laid out from the time they were born until they turned one. This program has done a lot for me, um, a lot. And it has taught me a lot, like helping your baby develop. It's like you watching that step by step. And I don't think there's any other program that I've heard about that could show me how to help my baby develop as much as this program has. And that, says Smith, is the goal, to make it as easy as possible so families can stick to this plan and benefit from it. It gives you what you need to start out with, the development, the areas, the information, the purpose, and the handouts. They all work together to complete the whole curriculum and help the families understand what's going on during child's development and pregnancy. And the curriculum is an overwhelming success. More than 3,700 programs across the country use it. And with the ever-evolving digital world, FSU is developing a curriculum app for use on tablets and desktops to make this program even more accessible. For FSU Headlines, I'm Mark Vaughn.